My name is Guy Echiav. I'm the general manager of Zebra Analytics. My background has been 25 years in supply chain technologies. I uh, built up a company called the Mantra for Demand Management. I was the head of supply chain at Oracle for four years. Uh, I was the CEO of Profitect for the last nine years, working with a lot of retailers, brick and mortar and e-commerce around prescriptive analytics. And we were just acquired by Zebra Technologies about five months ago, where now I serve as the general manager for Zebra Analytics. The major challenge that supply chain professionals in e-commerce and brick and mortar are actually facing today is the fact that retail has been sitting on a lot of data for a while. The data has been producing a lot of different reports, but reports are very biases. And so what has been uh, discovered over the years is that we build up a lot of smart machine for smart people, but the people that are actually doing the work are being drowned in reports. And it takes a lot of time to read those reports, understand the reports, and finding the right actions is difficult. It's difficult also because it's very biased. If I'm reading the report, I will see something else and something different than someone else reading the report. And so the challenges is across the board from a data perspective and report perspective, but on the flip of it, consumer expectations is being built up. We call it liquidation of expectation. Today, consumers can order an Uber and know, understand and know the driver name and what street they are on and when they will come in. And they expect and take this liquidation of expectations to other areas. There's a lot of retailers that promise delivery in two hours. And so they expect all retailers to deliver on a two hour delivery. And so the expectation is being built, supply chain is being built on reporting, and now you try to marry the two and now those are the major challenges. So prescriptive analytics is coming to solve those major problems on both ends. One end is that the reports doesn't actually say what are the actions that they should do in order to optimize the outcome. Prescriptive analytics using artificial intelligence in order to identify what is going right and what is going wrong. Try to understand that in a distilled way and with the augmented intelligence, drive the humans in supply chain to make the right decisions to optimize the outcome and therefore serve the customer in the right way. Inventory accuracy, on-shelf availability. If you use brick and mortar as your DCs, you better know the exact products that you have on the shelf, but not just the product. You need also to know in what capacity those products are. They need to be shiny. They need to be in a, in, a, in, a, in a way that they are available to be consumed. If there was are even groceries like bananas, they better be fresh, not rotten. If we're talking about basketballs, they, be, be, they need to be inflated, not deflated. And therefore, you need to know all of the information that you know, that you have. You need to be able to then compartmentalize them, package them and send it to the right consumers at the right time in order to fulfill those expectations, uh, liquid expectations, I might say, that we just described. So prescriptive analytics provide you, besides providing you the right action to optimize the outcome, it also takes and sifts through a lot of data. Assume receipts, transport, transportation information, the warehouse information, the slotting information. And it identifies opportunities both downstream at a store midstream at a DC or transportation opportunities, as well as upstream opportunities. So it could identify opportunities for a merchant, it could identify an opportunity with an item master for IT in order to solve a problem rather than just send everything to a store in order to solve it. We're all now working in supply chain. Even store operations need to pack up goods in order to ship them out for a specific consumer. And so everyone needs to be able to distill all of this data, find the right action, and drive it, drive it for a better consumer experience. And so prescriptive analytics is the technology that takes all of this data, distilling it, and shipping the right action to the right person in order to fulfill those expectations. So prescriptive analytics helps with the omnichannel excellence, uh, which I would say it's more around the circular uh, commerce rather than just the e-commerce because it really it doesn't matter where she buys it. You need to know the four questions and how to answer them. You need to know 
what is the SKU? Where is it? Is it in the front store, back store? Is it in the DC? What's the slotting information? It needs to be very accurate. And then how, in what capacity is it? it needs to be in the right temperature. It needs to be fresh, shiny in order to be consumed. And more importantly is what do I do about that? And that's the critical, the most critical answer uh, that it needs to be. And Zebra Technologies with Zebra Prescriptive Analytics is the answer in order to consume all of this information and hand it to the right worker on the Zebra device in order to take the action and fulfill the customer expectation. So with the liquidation of ex expectations from consumers today, there's four moments of truth. Number one, when she decides that she's looking for something to buy, she's analyzing all of the information online. It's a curated information both by the manufacturer as well as by the retailer together. And that togetherness, you need to be able to review and distill sentiment analysis on what she's saying when she finds this information. That's number one. Number two is the moment of truth when she actually orders it. She decides she needs it. She's going to buy it. She's buying it online or in a brick and mortar store the same expectation online within two hours it will be shipped to you we better deliver on that expectation if I go to a shop because it's an available on the shelf and I go to pick it up it better be on the shelf and so that's the second moment of truth the third moment of truth and when I'm using it when I'm using it the experience should be good and the fourth one is to fully advocate on social media about that brand and be a brand advocacy both for retailer and manufacturer. The idea of prescriptive analytics is to distill all the information, both quantitative as well as qualitative information about all of the reviews. Combine that with shipment, combine that with returns in order to identify how is the quality of that product? How did we serve the customer? What does she say, have to say about it in an aggregate fashion? And therefore then have a one prescribed action upstream to merchants or to the buyer or to the seller about that information. One of the best success stories that we have, we have many success stories with our retailers, both on e-commerce and brick and mortar, but the combination of e-commerce and stores is just fantastic because you can get uh, product feedback from the e-commerce side really, really quickly. And so for our fashion customers, as an example, we have lots of stories about size and quality of the garment when she buys it online and try it and then let's assume that the size was not right and so we immediately distill that information of the returns and why was the product returns and within one or two days of pushing it out to the market we identify that the sizes are a little bit wrong and so they're going a little bit wider and so a size two is actually in between two and four a size four is actually in between four and five and so with that capabilities we ask the, both the store managers as well as the e-commerce on the website to be able to put a comment that sizes are going a little bit bigger than expected. That immediately create a feedback loop of a much better customer experience because now you know when you buy something how it feels and you buy something that actually fits you. Therefore, you have less returns and better customer experience. E-commerce can actually be continued to be improved with artificial intelligence and machine learning. The idea behind the, the technology and the programming of it is that you load more and more data in order to be triangulated, and then you have a feedback loop. So when we send a prescriptive action for Joe Smith at a warehouse in order to ship a, the right product to the right consumer, if it's a thumbs up from him, it means that, hey, we credit the model. The model was very accurate. But if it's wrong and it does its thumbs down, that means the model needs to be improved. That machine learning loop is a continuous improvement in learning capabilities. And so over the weeks and over times and over months, the models is continue to fine tune itself automatically to become better. We typically have nine out of 10 true positives within the first two weeks of using the tool. And on a continuous basis, the value of the tool is continuing to be increased because it's fine tuning itself automatically. I would call it automagically. In 2020, we're going to see more dominant trends in technologies around satisfying the customer experience on time between shipments, ordering and shipment, lead time needs to be continued to reduce, feedback from the customers needs to 
be distilled much better. And therefore, you will see more signals across the platform. The platform that I'm talking about, it's not just retail, but retail and manufacturing are going to drop those silos and data will be shared much more frequently. But not just the data itself, because of the adoption of prescriptive analytics, you will see communication between retail manufacturer and consumer in a very circular fashion. We actually just, I'm coming out from a great panel that we had with some fantastic executives from Walgreens and board of directors from Bed Bath & Beyond and Cracker Barrel, as well as an executive from Shark Ninja. And we spoke about the feedback loop and the overall circular commerce that manufacturer and retailers needs to work better together, not just about sharing data, but sharing prescribed actions things that the manufacturer can do in order to impact those four moments of truth and things that the retailer can do in order to impact those four moments of truth. And the together of it will actually create much better customer experience.